Hi guys, again. Okay, today I have these old bottles that I've had for some time. This is uh, a mulberry uh, essence, I guess. I mean, they've been squashed up and whatnot um, and put into 40% uh, alcohol, which I personally make. Uh, and this one is in an old Grosch bottle. Gorgeous bottles. Um, never throw these kind of bottles out. They've got the, the best lids on them. But that one's uh, blackberries from a friend of mine's house that uh, has blackberries growing. and gave me like a whole heap. So I made it into, well, eight, eight as much. <laughs> and made it into an alcoholic beverage it, and it's very strong so what I'm doing today I've got uh, some other little bottles here my wife used to work at the local hotel uh, but we won't go into that anyway uh, I think you might know why so what I'm doing is making a sugar syrup that will complement these two flavors um, uh, yes, um, mulberry and here uh, blackberry. Now what I've done, I have uh, just a pot on the stove. Excuse my house, I'm not much into aesthetics whatsoever. I'm all about practicality. So the ratio here for a liqueur is one third sugar to, oh sorry, one third sugar to um, two thirds water. Now, if you're making preserves like uh, peaches or apricots, or and actually preserving them and um, doing them in fowlers for cola or or whichever way you're doing them, the ratio would be less. Uh, and it depends on what you're making. Um, what what ratio you would use, so you could use a quarter, a uh, half, a third, you know, it depends on how thick. So the water's boiling now, Ooh, I better get a, water. a wooden spoon, yeah, this is quite thick, and I'm doing this for Christmas because, yeah, Christmas is coming. So let me get a wooden spoon, excuse me, <laughs> let me get a wooden spoon here, and we just need to dissolve this, bring it to the boil and dissolve it. Yeah, well, if you think if you think of this, it's a bit like a roux, I guess. But there's only two ingredients. If you understand a roux, uh, it's normally one flour, one butter, and one cup of uh, milk. Yeah, it makes sense. So if you want it thicker, you go uh, two butter, two flour, one milk, one cup of milk. Anyway, that's happening quite quickly. I'll bring that to the boil. And once I do, I must wait for it to cool right down. So you get the idea here. And we'll have a nice 700ml uh, uh, bottle of uh, liqueur for Christmas. One of mulberry and one of blackberry. All right, I'll uh, we'll come back when that's really cooled down, which will be, a, I guess, after this, a couple of hours. Is it coming with the ball yet? Anyway, you understand the concept. Talk to you soon. Okay, so it's all cooled down now. So here, I'm just going to fill it up. So that is the uh, blackberry. Now it looks like we've got quite a bit left over. It's probably a good idea to um, yeah, sorry, just concentrating here a bit. So I've got a little bit left over. I'm sure we can use that somewhere. But it's probably a good idea to um, 
should I say here? You know, if you've got sugar, make it in advance. Keep it in the fridge, a fridge, and there we go. A little bit of, uh, excuse me, a little bit of Christmas liqueur. Yeah, by the way, these bottles come from, um, I may have said this before, from my lovely wife who used used to work at uh, a uh, hotel, you know, one that pours beer. <laughs> okay, hopefully that's helped someone. Look, uh, I should reiterate too, This uh, you can do this with all of your lemons, limes, the juice, uh, the apricots, peaches, apples. You can make this liqueur with all of those things. Um, and there's no reason why you can't have um, it blended up and have those uh, pieces of fruit in there as well. No reason whatsoever. Anyway, it just depends on your... Um, prerogative okay hey this helped some people good night for now oh, I just wanted to say that I swapped this chili today for two very nice large beetroot it's quite large the chili because mine aren't ready uh, a very big lemon and a bunch of silver beet <laughs> Now you know that karma is coming back to me. Alright, good night.